Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we kind of do a bit of a behind the scenes catch up, chat ish, maintenance, all sorts. Anyway, cue the intro. Well, you're joining me literally a week and a bit away while this is actually being filmed from the big Peak District trip that I'm getting proper excited about, but obviously it's that time now where I need to do a few maintenance bits on the monkey. I did start and I will explain what's happened. Um, and when I literally cleaned the bike, the video where you saw that was the plan to sort of prep it for the trip. There's a few jobs that need doing. But anyway, let me go through <laughs> some of the joys of putting on custom parts and trying to figure stuff out. Okay, so, the chain I put on, it was its maximum adjustment um, that I had on before this. So basically, um, because I've put aftermarket parts on, obviously different size sprockets, I'm playing with the chain size because I want the chain to last a little bit longer. So I kind of went all out and a bit of a gamble and bought a 94 link chain, this one here. And to be honest, it was about two um, sprockets away from being able to fit. I thought, oh, bugger it. So then I ordered another one um, at 96, thinking that'll be plenty, that'll go on. And that's left me, as you can see here, one sprocket away from being able to co like co connect. And obviously I need to, I want to adjust it at least to the minimum adjustment, if not a little bit more. So I'm actually now onto my third chain to make this fit. But once I've got it right, I've got it right. So I've got the third chain with me. So my plan is literally just to whip this on. I want to give the bike an oil change as well because it's due its oil change. It's going on a trip. I always like to give an oil change before a trip, keep it nice and safe. And then I've also bought this little cool thing here. Now, if you remember, I've got the Tenshi exhaust that's just terrible. And obviously I'm getting burnt leg every time I'm off road. This is a heat shield. So hopefully this universal heat shield will go on and stop me from getting a burnt leg every time I want to stand up. That's the jobs I've got to do on the bike. My 12 volt socket doesn't work because obviously I've used it in all sorts of weathers and ridden it through rivers. So I need to have a look at that as well. So there's a few jobs to do, but basically I'm just getting the bike prepped for the Peak District Adventure. So hopefully everything will work the way I need it to work and be awesome. So that is the current plan. Well, here we go. I'm going to whip this off, but you know, I'm just dead excited about this Peak District trip because it's going to be absolutely awesome. I generally can't wait to like meet the amount of people that are coming, the amount of people that subscribe to this channel, including the other YouTube channels that are obviously subscribers of the channel and help support this channel throughout its time. And some of them have been quite new and I've helped sort of grow their channels. I desperately want to sort of drop names down in there and say these people are coming and these people are coming. But it's that thing about saying, oh, these someone's come in and something happens and they can't make it. And do you know what? It's not fair to put pressure on anyone. I know that there is a really cool channel that's literally building a bike to go that is if it turns up is going to be out of this world but again i don't want to start dropping names just in case anything goes wrong and it's not fair on them etc etc so anyway i'm going to whip this chain off another new chain by the way that will uh, of course i'm sure be useful in a future project a lot of people would say why don't i just split a link and then uh off of the other chain and put it together well the point of that is is that i basically don't want to because these are sealed i don't want to start grinding and cutting stuff off and making it unsafe for the sake of like a 20 quid chain just buy another chain do you know what i mean it's like it ain't rocket science it's super safe these will come in useful at some point if not they'll go on the great wall of bits and bobs in the background to look pretty as a prop so it's not the end of the world i'll oh, shove that back in there do right let's get this bad boy open and let's pray that it fits on Whew. well that one definitely fits to me that looks hugely bigger than all the others but hey hopefully once that adjusts up it will all be good
so when do you know when your oil's ready to be changed? When it goes black. <laughs> so yeah, I've just emptied that out. I'm just about to put another litre in here. Happy days, that'll be good for the trip. I've put on this heat shield. Now, at the end of the day, I am not expecting a lot from it. It's already rubbish and already chipping away. But if it just stops that burn on the leg, happy days. If not, like the 10 she exhaust, it'll be a load of rubbish and we'll end up having to go in the bin and be replaced. But we'll give it a go, see if it's any good. So that's the monkey bike pretty much ready for the trip. Oil change, that heat shield's on there. I've pretty much done all the little jobs I want to do, including the chain, so we are good to go. It does need a good clean, but do you know what? It's good for the Peak District trip. Oh, so close now to this happening, so close, I'm dead excited. Okay, let's just quickly chat about where we are with the camper, the Monkey Cycle Camper Mark II project, and so we've sanded down quite a lot of this. I mean, a lot of it is rotten, and to be honest, could do with replacing, but who knows how long it's going to last for so at the minute i am just literally trying to anti-rust it as much as possible and then move on to just spraying it some white for now then we'll see what happens with the design in the future but as you can see it's pretty much anti-rusted all over just here was a whopping hole behind some duct tape so that's again not the best job in the world but it's better than having a massive hole and it will do for now until we know what we're going to do with it that really needs a replacement wing We've got a new um, grill going in here, and then likewise down here, the rear arch on that side is rotten as, so it's gonna look bad no matter what I do. So I've sanded that down a little bit, and then the whole point of that is, is I'm gonna get down to sort of probably replacing that as a wing, or getting something done to that as well. But yeah, that's where we're up with the Monkey Cycle Camper. Well, there you go. The Honda Monkey Bike is ready for the Peak District trip. It is good to go, it is golden, and do you know what? I cannot wait, it is going to be an absolute blast. Get to see all of the subscribers, get to hang out with you guys and also do some nutty fun filming and make some proper YouTube gold. It is going to be an absolute giggle. And then there's the Honda Monkey Cycle Cam Fan. Now we have just started work on this and it is a massive project. I cannot wait to get out and do my first adventure on there. I've had all sorts of suggestions on way to raise money for it but all I want to say at this time is if you're able to help sort of towards the cost of this, there is a PayPal link down in the description and literally every penny I get is going on the monkey cycle camper van at the minute to sort of get it on the road because I can't wait to take that on its first whack adventure with the Honda monkey bike of course in the back and another adventures even with the Honda CB500X in the back it's going to take us to some absolutely awesome places if you are interested in sort of helping support the build on a financial basis then there is a PayPal link down there every penny is going towards it of course you can join Patreon there's about four or five videos on there at the minute where you sign up each month you can cancel any time you like like, but do you know what? I really appreciate the support. You get your name in the credits. And without the patrons, this channel wouldn't be as big or as good as it is. So just a massive thank you to them. But if you're interested in supporting us that way, then that is a way to it. And then the other side of it is if you've got any skills, for instance, like you work at a spray place or you've got a company that you work for or you even own and you want to be able to do something where you'll talk about your company in there and get some stuff done, then please get in contact as well. There is so much to be done. We're only putting a sideboard in there where we're going to make that into the kitchen on the top. And there's obviously the the camper van gas hob and we've got the sink and then I've got to look at the electrics and obviously the side kit's got to make the bed thing that comes down and there is unbelievable amounts and then like, I really want to get some really funky helmet head graphics and if I could I'd like to have the whole van resprayed as we currently stand at the minute obviously it's within the budgets that I can afford so it will be a proper 11 out of 10 job currently but do you know what whatever happens it is going to be awesome but if you can help then please do so. And then if you've not hit the subscribe button, you made it all this far, crack, smash, bang, whatever they say, that subscribe button. And don't forget that bell button so you don't miss out on the next episode. But do you know what? We're not far now from the Peak District trip. I cannot wait to see everybody there. All, all of the people, all of the subscribers, the supporters of this channel, there's other YouTubers going, like I said, as well. It is going to be absolutely epic. So again, just thank you so much for watching. And of course, we live by three things on this channel. The three gospels of life, the most important thing and that's eat pie ride motorcycles and be happy i will see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure bye bye for now when i saw you i would lose control made me feel like there was no tomorrow should have told you that you're beautiful but the days pass and now it's so long ago
Did you make it? Did you break free? Did you manage to be who you wanna be? Maybe somewhere you think about me too. 